on December 19th, I just told myself like, we're done with the thyroid issues. We're done saying that we can't lose this weight because we're gonna lose this weight. Like I told myself, like I'm done. Like I have to feel confident in my skin. I cannot go another year not being in preparation because I'm hiding in my house because I feel fucking fat. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. For those who are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button just to stay up to date with my latest uploads. So here on my channel, we are all about creating a life you love. So with that being said, let's hop into today's video. So in today's video, my first official video that I'm recording in 2023, I wanna talk about getting in position for your desires. For me in life, I just feel like so many things have passed me by that I really wanted to do. And the only reason that they didn't happen for me is because I wasn't prepared to receive them. Opportunities have presented presented themselves a lot of times and I've chickened out because I just wasn't in preparation to go with the flow and do what I needed to do. So I decided in 2023, we are done playing those games. We are gonna become the girl of our desires. Like I wanna be the girl that I used to dream of as a little girl. So in order for me to do that, I have to have a plan and get prepared. Like sure, we can kind of hope and dream, but you need to be in alignment and be ready to receive whatever blessing is coming your way. So the way I did this, I started to prepare a little bit before the new year actually came. So around December 19th, I had just got back from Chicago and I met my team for the first time and I had a ball in Chicago. But I kind of just realized like, all right, what do I want for the next year? 2022, I feel like I lived two totally different lives. Like the first half was pretty shitty and the second half was like, wow, my whole life has literally changed. Especially like my home, my location. Like I am a thousand miles away from home. But now my new home is Dallas, Texas. Yeah, I just had to kind of figure out, okay, so I, I did that and I did that pretty well and pretty effortlessly. So what would actually happen if I got prepared for the things that I wanted? So I actually have a therapist down here. She is a cognitive behavior therapist and I kind of just told her like when we first started working, like some of the things that I wanted to achieve and anxiety really stops me from doing a lot of stuff. So she's been kind of helping me figure out how to navigate anxiety and how to like not let it consume me. So some of the stuff has been working. So I definitely had some of this stuff going to practice. So back to December 19th, I decided I was changing my life. Cold turkey, just like that. I started off with a social media cleanse. I decided I was not gonna do Instagram. I was not gonna do Facebook. I did keep TikTok because Little did it did. But it, I don't think TikTok affects me like Facebook and Instagram, so I kept that. And then I started to use Pinterest. The reason that I that I took a break from social media is because it's like you're just constantly being fed this fantasy life of what people decide to post. And I was like, it kind of just started to make me depressed because I'm watching people live a life that I think I want to live but I also don't know what's going on behind the scenes. So I'm like, all right, let's dial back. So what I decided to do and re to replace like the social media, I started to use Pinterest. Um, I created like mood boards on Pinterest to kind of help me pick my vibration up for those moments where I was kind of like anxious or I didn't know where I wanted to be. Looking at my Pinterest mood board for 2023, helped me reel myself back in whenever I was having some sort of like anxiety type of moment. So that's the first thing I did. Second thing I did was cut out meat. Now vegetarian life is nothing new to me. When I graduated college, I believe I was vegetarian for about two years. I did occasionally eat seafood if I was like out at a restaurant kind of setting. So, um, it wasn't hard for me to kind of get back in because like I know what kind of things to cook. I'm not really eating any fake meats or anything like that. I'm just straight up eating fruits and vegetables, healthy grains, and that's about it. 
I do occasionally do like whey protein in a smoothie just to kind of keep my protein up a bit, but I'm not going overboard with the protein. Like I'm not doing three protein shakes a day. At minimum, I'll have one a day and that's not even every day. So I haven't been like going crazy about that because I, that's not what worked for me. It worked for all the other girlies, but that's not necessarily what works for me. Third thing that I actually started to do is I started to work out after work. Now, this might sound crazy because I actually work out before work too, but working out after work really helped me like decompress my mind, decompress my body, and like it just kind of overall like relaxed me. My apartment has a pretty nice fitness center, so I just, when I'm done working, just hop off my computer, go downstairs and go to the fitness center. Um, if I'm working in the office, I'll just, whenever I get home, put my clothes on and go to the fitness center. And it helps me like almost like literally end my day, especially on the days that I work from home. It can be super hard to go from the computer to, okay, you're off work. Not that I'm like continuing work like after hours, but it's just like being at home all day it's kind of like no clear barrier of, okay, you're done with work today. So that helps a lot. Third thing was I actually started just doing a lot of visualization exercises, really just being a, a imaginative. I think that's why I say it. Just kind of going back to being a kid. When I was a kid, my imagination used to run wild. My friends used to talk about me like, oh, she's in her la la land. But like that is how I would escape the world because I would just envision what my future would look like. So that's a practice that I kind of just brought back in and I'm like, all right, this is what I want my life to look like. So I started doing those kind of things, doing some guided meditations. And all of those things have helped me with my anxiety like so much. And just overall have helped me with my mindset in general. So that is helping me ease the anxiety and then I can actually do the work part and move past the anxiety and actually start to do the things that I want to do. Um, as far as like putting things into action, um, something, one of my goals is to like make more friends in Texas and stuff. So um, I want to, you know, be more involved in the community and things like that. So I actually just started signing up for volunteer work at my job just so i can kind of even meet more people at work i've been talking to more people at work just trying to be a little bit more friendly because i have a really bad social anxiety but i'm not going to make any friends if i'm not talking to anybody so i i'm deciding to kind of just step out of my comfort zone and do those things a big piece for me when it comes to feeling confident is feeling confident in my body Lots of people may say, it's nothing wrong with you, Sierra. You're fine. You have an awesome body. Like, you you, you kind of set. Like, you, you're pretty good. Like, you're pretty good, girl. But for me, I have to feel good in my body. And I know, like, weight is kind of like a touchy subject for people or anything like that. So if that kind of stuff bothers you, go ahead and click out. But for me, I needed to lose weight. Like, I do not feel like I am meant to be an overweight person in my body, like in my mind, in my soul. And I feel like the weight that I carry on my body physically holds me back from life. And I know that might be a, a toxic way of thinking or, you know, people are like, big girls can have fun. Sure, y'all can but y'all don't have the same kind of things going on in your head like me. So I do th think that that was the biggest piece for me. Not that I've lost a ton of weight, but I've recently lost 13 pounds with, within the month. Like today is January 19th, guys. I started on December 19th. Just simply adjusting my mindset sure i worked out twice a day changed my diet but i actually believed in that moment that i could lose the weight like for the past three years pretty much since 2020 
I have told myself, you're never going to lose this weight. I, if you guys don't know, I had thyroid surgery in 2021. Yeah, 2021. Um, I found out that I had a nodule on my thyroid and it was messing some stuff up, which caused me to gain weight. And like, as I was doing my research of just about thyroids in general, everybody's like, you're never gonna lose weight. You're gonna be fat forever. And I started to adopt that mindset. And it's just like, it's just so hard. It's just so hard. I was literally working out every day, y'all. Every single day. I even went into debt and got a personal trainer. When I tell you my credit card is still maxed out from doing this personal training and didn't lose a pound, and I was working my ass off. But the thing was, I didn't believe it in my soul, in my spirit, in my body that I could change it. So it just never happened. And it's like, we don't realize how powerful our mind is, but it is super powerful. And I think my biggest piece for 2023 is to just be more confident. And that starts with feeling confident with yourself. I can't start going to do things, talking to people, if I don't feel confident in how I look. Like, I just can't. And I'm sorry if that offends people, but now I feel a little bit better. Like, just down 13 pounds makes me feel a little bit better. When I tell you I have been stuck, I've gone from 195 to 180. 190, 180, 193, 180. Like I never got past 180. In the slight moment that I did, I was doing those stupid little diabetes shots that the doctors prescribed. But guess what? When you stop taking that stuff, you gain that weight right on back. So I was on like the, the it was called Sandex, Sex, Sex, Sexenda. That's the shot that I was on, and it's basically like the Mandra or the Ozempic, and it's supposed to help you lose weight. Sure, I got down to 178. That's not much starting from 188. What's that, 10 pounds? I was on it for like two months. Other people were losing so much more weight, and I think it's because I didn't believe that I could lose any weight. So I only lost the 10 pounds. And then it was kind of like, okay, it's the shot that made me lose the 10 pounds. So guess what? When I moved to Texas, I got a new insurance and that wasn't covered anymore and I didn't want to go through the hassle of finding a doctor down here to rewrite me a prescription and I was just like, whatever, forget it. I gained 10, so I lost 10 pounds. I gained eight of those back in a two month span. And I wasn't doing anything crazy. Like I don't, I don't eat super bad. Like I work out every single day. Like every single day. And on December 19th, I just told myself like, we're done with the thyroid issues. We're done saying that we can't lose this weight because we're gonna lose this weight. Like I told myself like, I'm done. Like I have to feel confident in my skin. I cannot go another year not being in preparation because I'm hiding in my house because I feel fucking fat. Like that's dumb. Lose the fucking weight. And I told myself, you're going to lose this weight. And guess what? A month later, down 13 pounds. So, I'm sorry I got so aggressive. But, like, it's just crazy to me. Like, I don't know what clicked, but I just I just was done believing that, that, that narrative that people with a bad thyroid can't lose weight. And the thing is, like, we consume so much information on social media. And social media doesn't know you. Your body is specific to you. And like on social media, they're like, you don't need to be doing so much cardio. You need to prioritize weights and strength training. So that's what I was doing. But now I do a little bit of strength training, but I'm prioritizing my cardio and this weight is falling the fuck off. Stop listening to the internet. Like, why am I like trying to like build all this muscle when I still have a very high fat percentage? Like sure, that may work for some people, but it wasn't working for me mentally. I struggle with body image. I struggle with body dysmorphia. I struggle. So for me, I think it's important to just get the body fat down, worry about the muscle later. 
like worry about the muscle later once you get to a comfortable weight where you feel comfortable then you can start worrying about gaining a little weight to get some muscle like do what's best for you but for me i feel like in order for me to get in the preparation that i needed to be like i said i needed to be confident in my skin i needed to be confident in my hair like when i wear weave like when i first get it done i feel great but at the end of the day i feel more confident in my hair like my hair is beautiful and it's me and it feels real so like like I said, this year is about getting prepared for what I want. And I'm coming after everything that I want. I'm not into sharing my goals on the internet anymore. Like for things that are very personal to me, I'm just not going to do it. I know everybody else is doing it right now. But I'll come back and check back in with you guys at the end of the year and let you guys know everything that I crush on this list. Because everything that I say that I want this year, I'm getting it. And that's just the mindset you gotta have. So with that being said, are you prepared to walk into every single thing that you desire for this year? And if you're not, what's stopping you from being in preparation? I want you guys to, when you get off this video, think about what can get you prepared and in alignment for the goals that you're trying to achieve this year. Don't just start throwing out, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that. But what does that look like? What is a person with whatever you're design, desiring? What does their life look like? What does their schedule look like? What do they dress? How do they look? What is their schedule? Are they drinking cheap coffee or are they drinking, drinking pricey coffee? Like, you got to get into character. This is your story. So, yeah, but I'm done preaching. But I just wanted to hop on here and let you guys know what's going on, what's in store for 2023. And I want you guys to get in alignment yourself. And with that being said, you guys have a great day. Bye.